Hey everybody, Eric Parker with One Number here. And for today's Tableau tutorial, um, what I wanna do is to walk through how to compare year-to-date to previous year-to-date values in Tableau. Um, there are some functions within table calculations which allow for this a little bit, um, but I wanna show you how you can uh, create these calculations from scratch so that they are totally usable wherever uh, that you would want in your dashboard. All right, um, so I am working with uh, Superstore sales data sets. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up onto the screen for those that would like to follow along. Uh, this is where the data set resides on my computer. Yours will be a little bit different, but if you go into documents and my Tableau repository, uh, and then whatever your latest version of Tableau is, it should be something uh, fairly similar. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm connected to the orders table. And so let's say that the, the big thing that I wanna do is to compare uh, which regions in our uh, geographies that we're comparing have seen the most year-to-date sales growth. Um, as I'm recording this, I am in late March, 2021, so it should roughly show me late March, 2021, uh, all the data up through that date as compared to all the data through late March, 2020. Okay. Uh, so I actually don't have a date field which goes to the end of 2021 yet because uh, this data set ended at the end of last year. So I'm just going to quickly create a calculated field which would allow me to do that. So this is kind of a handy trick when you're testing things out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use date add and add one year, get my syntax just right here, to the order date field. And just to show you what this is gonna do, because this will crop up in our calculation later, uh, if I put the date field on the row shelf now, you're gonna see that I actually have data ranging all the way through the end of 2021, uh, which is maybe not exactly what we want. So I'll speak to that here in just a moment. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a year-to-date sales calculation. Um, so the way that that will work is I'm gonna go to the sales field in my data pane, I'm gonna hit the drop down to the right of it, and I'm gonna to ask to create a calculated field. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see, create a calculated field. And this will just be sales-ytd. So then here's the way that I'll write this. I will say, let me do a new line. If the date diff uh, in years between my date field and today is equal to zero, then sales. And then I'll just put the word end. So in a lot of circumstances, this would be all that you would have to say. Basically, if there's no difference between the year of today and the year of the date field, then give me sales. I have a weird circumstance because I have future data in my data set. So here's how I'm gonna handle that. I'm gonna say, you know, if the date uh, diff between your date today equals zero, and then I'll say this, and uh, today, or actually rather, date is less than or equal to today, then sales. So this just makes sure that I'm not grabbing any future data. For those of you that have that kind of rare circumstance where maybe there is data that's like, forecasted for the future that's popping up, this is a good way to make sure that you're not accidentally grabbing that. Okay, so now we need to create a sales previous year to date calculation. So go ahead and do similar kickoff. I'm gonna hit the drop down to the right of my sales field. And then I'm gonna say create calculated field. This will be sales dash PYTD. Okay, so the way this kicks off is like this. I'm gonna say, if the date diff in years, and that's year in single quotes, all lowercase, some older versions of Tableau are a little sensitive to that, so you may wanna follow that syntax exactly to get this to work just right. So I'm gonna say if the date diff in years uh, between my date and today is equal to one, then sales. So that would give you all of last year's uh, sales data, but not last year to date. Um, so this is where things get kind of interesting. So let me go ahead and say after the equal one, I'm gonna put then sales and end on their own lines because we have an additional clause of logic that we need to include on the second line. 
So I will say and, and this is where we're gonna use something called the date part function. So the way the date part works is you can uh, indicate date units like year or month or quarter that you would like to reference. Um, so for those of you that ever have ever used like a year function before, that's a date part function utilizing the date unit year. Uh, but in our case, we're actually gonna try and utilize something called day of year. So here's how we do that. We're gonna say, and the date part, and now in quotes, this is all one word, day of year of my date field, okay, must be less than or equal to the date part day of year of today. So I'm just gonna do some quick mental math on this. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this in late March of 2021. So let's say it's March 29th. Um, that would mean that this is roughly the 90th day of the year, right? So this is gonna say basically compare the first 90 days of this year to the first 90 days of last year. Um, and then the cool part about this is uh, as my data updates, right? So let's say 10 days from now, it'll be comparing 100 days to 100 days. So I'm just gonna do a uh, quick fact check to make sure this is working. So I'm gonna grab the date field from my data pane. I'm gonna use an old trick of mine, which is just to right click and drag that date field to the row shelf. And then when I drop that field on the row shelf, because I right clicked and dragged, it's gonna ask me, uh, how do I wanna see this broken out? Do I wanna see it by year or quarter? I'm just gonna pick month, day, year, so we can see this at the most granular level. And now I'll just put year to date on text and I'll double click on my sales previous year to date calculation to get that as a second column. And now we can just scroll our way down, see what it is we're working with. So we're scrolling 2018, 2019, and we're about to get to 2020. That's where we should start seeing data showing up for the previous year to date column. Okay, let me expand this. So sales previous year to date, okay, see that column here. Just got the sword icon on it, but that's it. It starts in January 2nd, 2020, that's good. And it's gonna go all the way through, and I think I said the day wrong, uh, or I might be a little bit off, but okay, that's gonna go through March 27th, 2020. I might be off my own days. What's going on right now in the world? All right, and then uh, for the year to date value, it's gonna be showing me January 1st, 2021 through March 28th, 2021. Okay, so I was off a little bit. Last year was a leap year, kind of adds a little bit of a wrinkle. Um, I think, you know, you could always just kind of hard code like a plus one into your calculation for a single year to account for that. Um, there are some kind of nested logical statements we could do to account for leap years. I think we'll handle them in another video just because that's a whole nother wrinkle I don't want to go into just now, but just know that that's, um, will be coming up eventually, okay? Uh, so now what I can do is I can create a calculated field that finds our difference between our year-to-date sales versus our previous year-to-date sales. So I'll just call this sales um, difference year-to-date versus previous year-to-date. Okay, and this is actually one of my favorite things. If you grab a pill from within your worksheet and then drag it into your calculated field, one of the nice things is it brings the aggregation with it. So what I mean by that is I don't have to type out sum it just brings it. So I just say sum of sales year to date minus sum of sales previous year to date. Okay. So now to answer our original question, let me just create a new worksheet here and I'll say uh, which regions uh, sales values have grown the most uh, year over year. So I'll grab my region field for my data pane, and I'm gonna drag and drop that on the row shelf. And then that calculation I've just created, sales difference year to date versus previous year to date. I'm gonna drag that to my column shelf. I'm gonna drag another copy of that calculation onto the color tab in the marks card, and then do a little descending sort. Uh, so we can see it's a mixed bag for us, right? Uh, the West region has grown in sales by $26,000. That's our best growth. And our biggest drop off was the South region where uh, we are $14,000 behind where we were at this same point last year. All right, so thanks for following along for this year to date versus previous year to date tutorial. 
Uh, it's been fun to make it, and we'll look forward to catching you on a future video about some other Tableau tutorial.